Generally, we all think spring is the time to plant, but thankfully, we can still get new plants and flowers in the ground and enjoy them for the rest of the season. Our friends from Wilson's Garden Center have tons of options, and as winners of the Consumer's Choice Award every year since 2010, they certainly know what they're talking about. Shelly Barry McDaniel joins me once again, and Shelly, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having us. Okay, before we get to the Consumer's Choice Award, what do you think? My garden. It's a little crazy, right? I think it's fantastic. Okay. Good job. You're giving me the thumbs up. All right, so the Consumer's Choice Award, it's obviously based on customer satisfaction. So what does that mean to you, to the Wilson's Garden Center family? Um, it gives us great pride. We're very pleased and, and we would like to thank everyone that voted for us here in Central Ohio. We're extremely pleased. Okay, well Wilson's been around for quite a while. Yeah. So how did you guys even get your start? Well, we started as a farm market in 1958 um, and we have grown to what people see now today. We have over 100,000 uh, square feet of greenhouse space and uh, still family owned and operated. Okay, perfect, which I think is, is important to people, and that's yeah. why they probably have so much pride in Wilson's Garden Center. So since then, too, you have grown, as you mentioned, how big your greenhouse is quite a bit. So now you have, I mean, the options there kind endless. of are endless, right? Endless. <laughs> I mean, when you come and you bring all this stuff, I think, uh, how, how can there be even more at the store? Obviously, this is a very small portion. But uh, through the years, as you said, remains family owned and operated. So let's talk about some of the trends, some of the things that you brought today that people might be looking at. Well, the trends, you know, everybody's concerned with what they're eating, bee population, pollinators, natives, and what we brought today sort of fits into all of that. Okay, so let's go through some of these. And are these things people then can still plant now? Yes. Okay, so let's Definitely. start all the way at the end here. The tall purple things, what are those? That's <laughs> Agastache, really a great plant for bees, butterflies. You know, a lot of people are a little leery when we say, oh, this is great for bees, but the bees don't care about you. And again, everybody's into butterflies. So if the bees like it, the butterflies do as well. And it's one of those things you can sit out and enjoy those things. Yes. You don't have to sit too close to it, afraid of the bees, but you right. can have it in your yard. It's exactly. beautiful. Exactly. Okay, so moving over now, right next to it, it's kind of like that darker purple and green, mm -hmm. which I think like looks like something great to kind of fill in between things. Right, that is Joe Pie Weed. It makes a ba great backdrop with that dark foliage with the other flowers, makes them pop. Yeah. Um, it does bloom a little bit later. Something to consider with your butterflies and pollinators, having something that blooms all throughout the season. So that's going to be a later bloomer. And when we talk about, you know, the gardens, the plants and things like that, do you put plants in your garden, around your garden? How do you guys kind of, I guess, suggest the best way to do it, to plant the flowers? Should they be in their own bed? It can be anywhere. I mean, you know, just in a pot, anywhere you have space, if it's the right condition, yeah. Just put a flower yeah. and go on. Okay, now these things I think are my favorite one up here. These orange. Yes. I don't even know what they are. They kind of look like a daisy. That is, is that what they are? It's okay. It's own flower. Um, and that particular variety is Cheyenne Spirit, which can be oranges to reds to yellows. Really super fun. You're not really sure what it's going to look like until it blooms. But okay. beautiful. It's gorgeous. Yes. Okay. Now, there's a lot of kind of pink shades yes. around this corner. Yes. Pinks and purples yes. and things like that. So are there anything in there that you want to kind of point out to us that's really good to plant right now? Oh, well, again, all of it's really good to plant. The okay. Minarda in the front, the bee balm, um, is super cute. That's that pinky, purpley, okay. very fragrant also. A lot of people are into smells. That one smells like Earl Grey tea. Um, yeah. And there are a lot of benefits, as you mentioned, the bees and butterflies mm -hmm. for, I mean, I guess, how does the pollination work as far as being good for everything else? So if you have something that attracts the bees, that's gonna be great for everything in your yard, right. isn't it? Right, I mean, you could even plant these along your vegetable garden, you know, because your tomatoes, they need pollinated as well. So you're bringing in the bees and they're gonna pollinate your tomatoes. Okay, now what about the stuff we already planted, Shelly? Last time you were here a couple months ago, right, and had some great flowers. Mm -hmm. Say we planted all of those, how are we maintaining them still? And I, specifically, I want to ask because I have a rose bush and I have had to prune it like 916 times. Oh, well, that's good. It's growing. <laughs> I know. It's growing like crazy. Yeah. So I keep pruning and pruning. Mm -hmm. Things like that, though, I mean, you do have to maintain some of your flowers. You do. And we get lots of questions about that sort of thing. And we welcome that. Either stop in, give us a call. We're happy to help. Um, right now, yes, maintaining as far as uh, moisture, that's critical at this yeah. point in the game. It's been very water. hot mm -hmm. recently too. Right. Are you wanting to mostly, I mean, every day, I know it probably depends on different flowers, but should you kind of hit your flowers every day, a couple times a week at least? A couple times a week at least, yes. Okay. It just depends on what it is. All right, well again, Wilson's Garden Center, great place to get advice as well as 
every single flower that you could possibly exactly. imagine. All right, Shelly, thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me.